Hello and welcome to another Heroes video. Uh, I got a finally actually had a match that wasn't Black Heart Bay. I had like six in a row. So let's talk about this. The uh, enemy team. We'll go over them real quick. Is Jaina, ETC, Abathur, Tyrael, Nova, and uh, the team I'm playing on is I'm playing Lily. Matt is on Jaina. We have Vala, Nova, Tychus. This is four assassins and a healer. Thank you, quick match seconds. matchmaking. However, if you might have noticed about the enemy team, they do not have Five, a healer. If you're not four, familiar with uh, the three, Garden Terror map, two, it is a little weird. Um, it's kind of like Dragonite, however, there is a secondary jungle that spawns where you need to take down creatures, where you get plant tokens, and then you can cash in to kind of get your own little plant Dragonite, who has different abilities that are very good for taking out bases and... Uh, polymorphing people. Uh, mid lane looks like we're getting a little scuffle. Jaina is getting hit by our Jaina and Vala. Hungering Strike dash, and oh man, first blood for the blue team. Rattle everyone's cages. Uh, let's see what's going on in bot lane. Looks like Nova is just kind of moving around. And now our swag mid lane doing pretty good. We'll see how things go down. I'm doing my best to, looks like uh, our Tychus took quite a bit of harass from their Tyrael. I'm going to be healing them up as best I can. Uh, Lily is a great beginner support. Um, I love playing her because after you lose a bunch of games, you, you can just stop thinking. Uh, her Q is just a untargeted, it'll heal the nearest person. Her W puts a turret on top of someone's head, basically. And her E is a, does a random AoE damage that also blinds. And her uh, ultimate, the only one that you should pick, is called a Thousand Jugs, and that just does infinite healing. It'll heal the most hurt person in a giant radius and just do tons of healing. Oh, enemy Nova coming in, landing some okay harass onto me, but we are pretty sure we know who... God. <laughs> um, which one of those is the real one? Tychus landing some damage. I'm pumping healing into Tychus. We're doing our best. I get a little bloodthirsty. Hopefully uh, we'll turn around. There we go. Tornado goes the wrong way. Ooh, enemy Jaina coming in for a gank. Ooh, and right in the middle out of all of this, uh, the secondary jungle has spawned. So we'll see what kind of objective control that we're going to have. Tychus is going in. Oh, he seems to have uh, first aid. So we'll see what comes out of that. Uh, the enemy is doing their best to get some jungle creeps. We're doing good in the bot. Their ETC and Abathur are doing stuff. Now we're just trying to harass down around the big one. Ooh, Tyrael hasn't finished. Tyrael doesn't actually do a lot of damage, so I can see why that's slowed down. I do my best to blind them so they can't finish knocking things out. Jana lands is slow, but we do seem to have Tyrael's number, or do we? Vala comes in, and we decide to turn around. Nova making the really bad decision to start that, uh, that terror. Oh, and the enemy ETC goes down somewhere. Good on whoever killed him. Wherever that happened, bad on me for not noticing. Um, so right now, it looks like the Nova... Nova cannot really do that terror on her own. She's waiting for her allies. We see the enemy Jaina. And it looks like we're doing a little bit of a push. Now, one of the things that I'm really focusing on is that I have Conjurer's Pursuit. Every time I get one of those little green orbs, see, I... When I get that, every three, I get enhanced mana regeneration. Looks like the enemy team has started that. Ooh, she already wasted her holograms. So I'm coming in, landing my blind, so none of their auto attacks are going to hit worth anything. Vol and Tiger's landing infinite damage on the Tyrael. And Matt doing a great job to solo out that Nova. Uh, ETC and Abathur are coming in, trying to do a little bit of stuff. And Ice is zoning us off of chasing. Tyke is doing his best to land some damage. And I'm just going to be tossing out as many heals as I can. Unfortunately, Matt and I are getting rooted by the Terror. He takes infinite damage from the Terror. ETC bopping him around and then finishing him out. ETC does actually pretty good auto attack harass. Tychus doing his best to run away. No health. Taken out as well. Minions might have helped with that. I'm trying to bop around and hit that ETC. He's got the Abathur shield on him and they're running around stealing seeds, which is a pretty smart decision to have. We finally take him out with the help of the guard terror. Meanwhile, during all of that, Tyrell has come back in. I'm trying to heal as best I can. Guard terror is interested in a fight as well. He seems to have my blood. I'm trying to get away as fast as I can, maybe so he can aggro Tychus. Tychus, we've now body blocked him, which is super important in Heroes, and he has been taken out. I'm running back to try and claim whatever seeds I can so the enemy Jada can't run in, steal her seeds. We did all the work. She's not going to get the pay. Vala dashing into her, doing her W, her Q. 
And now ETC, this fight has gone on forever, so now ETC has also respawned. I think we've had several respawns. Matt doing some pretty solid damage. Uh, with Jaina, if you land one of your abilities, the next ability, as long as they're underneath a frost, is going to crit material. And by that I mean Tychus is doing his best to push out. Looks like we're going down because we know there's going to be another fight during this bottom. Terror, meanwhile, during all of this, Abathur has been pushing out bot lane. Uh, we are having a fight. Looks like Matt and I are completely outnumbered. We're doing our best to run away. That's the little water dragon. That's the turret. The lead league can spawn on allies. Our Nova is coming in. Uh, Tyrael and enemy Nova have decided to push top, it appears. And uh, they are going in way too deep for our Nova. Vala going in with doing a bit of damage. Tychus landing out stuff as well. Did we get it? Vala managed to escape, healing her up. And now we have a distinct advantage in the lower half of the map. Apathur can't do anything, and it looks like they want to see if they can take out our top base for this. Uh, ETC is being tricky. He wanted to go into Steel Seeds. Unfortunately for him, he walked right into the stun of the Garden Terror, letting us completely bop him. And uh, we get a just a whole bunch of seeds. We get enough to grow a Terror, and they only got 43. Uh, While well, Nova and Tychus, two very, and by Tychus I do mean Tyrael, two very slow attack basing champions have managed to take out one tower and not even a wall. Uh, Vala is going in to take the Garden Terror. We'll see what's going on right now. Our Nova wants to go up there and try to deal with this. The enemy team has decided it looks like they think a top push would be good. But we're doing a bit of a bot push. I'm mostly there for the regen orbs, to be at all honest. And they have breached through our wall. Looks like they're disengaging. Our Terror is rushing towards mid lane. So we'll see right there. You can see that flower pot, which I guess he targeted a while ago. The flower pot will hurt any minions in the area. You can see they're taking continuous 150 damage. And it actually stops and hurts towers from firing as well. So it looks like uh, Matt and I are going in. We're trying to land damage while our guard terror kind of like footsies around the area, not really wanting to go in. Uh, the other flower pot that it can uh, burp out, so to speak, we'll watch. Um, not that one. He's got another ability that if he lands on the enemy, it will polymorph them into useless, like, piranha plant-looking things. Uh, enemy Jaina going in. Looks like she wants to flank me. I'm doing a little bit of damage, but ETC pushed me out of her frozen area. That's pretty good. I'm kind of ignoring her. While our terror goes in, uh, misses the polymorph, hit the lower tower. Thank goodness he did that, allowing us to get a two-level advantage of all these buildings we've destroyed. Right now, Matt and I are doing our best to focus on this fortress. Enemy Nova's coming in, though. And while the enemy Janet was taken out by the force of our Nova and the Garden Terra, enemy Nova doing her best. Our Nova using Precision Strike, trying to do a lot of damage. We're still trying to do what we can. Uh, enemy Nova trying to get behind the wall, manages to do so, and we're doing our best to land enough to harass uh, their Tyrael used. He has a Kog'Maw passive when he dies. He just kind of moves forward and does a lot of damage. Looks like Tychus is pushing against Tabitha. Top lane seems to have even out, and we get yet another tower, and it looks like, are we going to be greedy enough to stay, because we almost have this wall. Uh, I'm popping my E, and look at that, we take out their wall and their turret. I'm using a thousand jugs, which was cancelled up with the stun of ETC, good on him, we are all super low. If, ooh, and Vala using our ultimate to get a great kill. Will this team fight continue forever? I'm running back in, mashing Q, trying to heal as many people as we can. Well, Tychus continues to push bot. Looks like the minion waves have indeed equaled out, so let's take stock here. They're down to five forts. They have two kills. We have 12 kills. And the first guarded terror, Tychus, has been pushing ceaselessly against the Abathur. Unfortunately, enemy ETC is coming in, as well as the damage from Abathur pushing around, and they get the kill pretty easily. We went up north to try and take this bruiser camp. I'm trying to heal everyone up. No one is going... Right, so here's the deal. If you take out the mage first, it'll weaken these guys, so you should always go after the mage. Uh, but I was informed by Matt in our team chat that that's not something a lot of people know. So hey, pro tip, that's something you know now. And it looks like they are trying to set traps in the bot lane, or they want to try and take our bruisers. Uh, we're harassing Tyrael up top, trying to make sure that our bruiser camp can do as much damage as possible. Unfortunately, we're not doing anything about this lower bruiser camp. Shamblers are about to spawn. Tyke is heading bot. Our Jane and Matt is heading mid. I am doing my best to run for the life of me. Uh, I have a lot of healing. I'm standing in my healing ward. Or maybe it's a totem. And uh, they are just about to single out a jungle camp. That is bad for us. Is if you can steal the enemy jungle camp, as you see, they come in here and immediately attack this, even though we have our outer towers. It doesn't matter. Though the enemy Janna kind of made all that not. Whoa, hey, I didn't know they totally just walked to our inner turrets. 
that's kind of bad for us. And I continually played against this uh, this Nova. I kept her busy. She couldn't manage to kill me. Boom! Tigus with a wonderful throw. You can see the shimmer of where the Nova is. She was cloaked, but Tigus managed to lob that perfectly. Vala going in here, trying to protect our inner turrets. They are out of mana or bullets. Uh, if you're not familiar with heroes, there is an ammo system. We'll see where all the excitement is going. Nova and Matt on bot lane trying to protect the bot terror. I'm running around with Tychus doing our best to do this. Now well, this is a direct repeat of the last time that the Terrors spawn. We need far less than they do. Uh, Tychus throwing some stuff out, trying to land some things. I have uh, blinded out. Ooh, and our Nova and our Janna come in. Janna doing her best to zone out. The Tyrael, we take out the enemy Nova. And uh, Tyrael was completely zoned out by Matt. Precision Strike blocks him so that the uh, Water ML to take him out. Look at that, a thousand jugs healing Matt right up. That was a 3-4 Nut. Three for nut. ETC is having to do his best to guard top lane. Minions are flooding into that. Abathur has repositioned in the bottom lane. And is doing his best. Have we found Abathur yet? Let's check on this. No, Abathur has not died yet. So he's done a good job of staying safe. He's not positioning himself too aggressively. We already have another terror. And ETC, you are in the wrong neighborhood, friend. I'm going mad panda on him, but uh, we're not going to go after. We've got a terror. Material informing us to forget about him and to go bot as we have the terror coming up. So let's take a look at the lanes. Uh, middle lane is pushing against us. Bot lane is pushing against us thanks to Locus. Uh, and I'm doing my best. I probably should go bot with the team, but I don't like the idea that our top terror could go down. The enemy team. There we go. So we're being a little greedy here. We have a terror, and we were also trying to get the bot thing. Matt gets caught in the frozen circle of the enemy, as well as a mosh pit. He was straight up doomed right there. However, the precision strike from our Nova managing to take out their Nova. And then Tychus and the Odin managed to take out that ETC. Looks like we're going to use the terror to take out another terror. Collect some stuff. Nova coming in. Let's see what God can do. God can steal seeds. Oh, the scumbag. We're doing all the work. He's taking all the money. After shield can only do so much. He's taken down. I don't believe the clone can actually collect seeds, so that's good for us. I'm bothering this Tyrael who cannot do uh, damage fast enough to outpower my heals and to deal with the fact that I can blind. Looks like we collected even more seeds, but the enemy uh, minion wave and bot with the uh, Abathur seeds has managed to push through our outer wall. Uh, top lane still troublesome, and it looks like bot is going to be taken down. Our terror is thwapping away at that. Uh, Matt is coming in to assist me against that Tyrael who has just taken out our walls. Uh, terror freaking out. That's the polymorph. He missed it. But as long as he keeps these here, wow, that Abathur shield is nothing to stop at. Uh, I guess he's rightly deciding to hit the one that doesn't have an Abathur shield. You want to lead with your polymorphs. They're really valuable for taking things down. The final E ability. Ooh, our Nova makes a terrible positioning mistake. And then makes... Oh, that still hit her. Never mind. Our Nova's a brilliant person. Timed that perfectly. ETC still wants her. Nova's running. All right, so she's cloaked. I would like to see our horror try to finish this off, but Abathur is making sure that we can't take that and manages to kill our horror or she timed out. Not quite sure what, and Vala doesn't seem to have the damage. These minions, well, we get some minions. We got some minions. We got more experience, and we're three levels ahead of the red team right now. Can Nova get away? Tyrael has been caught out by Nova, and that was oof, bad for him. Nova's main thing is that she can really take people down. Her WQ combo is super powerful. It is a slow, it's a t and it's a skill shot that does tons of damage. Um, right now, we found Abathur and took him out just now. I should have brought that up. He's, he's totally dead. Uh, Tychus is telling me to go murder, but we just murdered the Abathur. He wasn't paying attention. Oh, that's what happened. When he went to go protect this person, uh, we saw him. He wasn't paying attention to himself in top lane, and Matt and I murdered him. So now we have uh, Jaina, ETC, in the bot lane with our Nova, E, and our Vala. I'm rushing in bot lane. Coming in to help with the killings. He's doing a mosh pit. I'm coming in here, doing my miss thing so that the enemy Jaina can't do anything. Landing some heals, and we take them out. Her frost ring coming in just a little too late to do anything good. So right now, the Shamblers are not up. I'm popping all of these Abathur mines and uh, trying to run forward. I think I'm calling for the siege minions to be taken. We kind of want bot to be pushed. 
as Abathur is doing his best to use his Locust to keep us pushed out. Enemy Nova trying to tape the top. Matlan's a great stun, and a crit, and a ring, and that Water Elemental coming out. He doesn't actually need to panic unless Nova scopes for damage. Those clones are actually damage free. They're just an annoyance. But you can, uh, if you want to, scope out a damage build where you can have up to three clones that do up to 50% damage. So uh, those can become rather annoying. Right now we have some Siege minions in the bot lane pushing it out. I'm just running around looking for regen orbs. That scumbag! Not saving them for me. Tyrael taking the bot, the top bruisers. That's great for them. And they need pressure somewhere else on the map. As we're shoving in bot, we are shoving in mid. Arvala's fighting alone, which is not good for her. Uh, doing her best to land her ult to try and scare off, but Abathur is doing stuff, and he is taken down. Nova landing her combo, I'm not quite sure. That's basically all Nova can do, you just kind of need to run at this point. Tychus coming in to try and help her, though there's a lot of heals. Ooh, Precision Strike completely whiffing. The enemies have also spawned another ETC. That's Abathur's ultimate, he's become a fake ETC. I've come in, trying to do my best to heal Tychus. Popping down as many of my Qs as I can while he is blasting away. Unfortunately, that is an enemy Abathur. That is on that only counts for a portion of a kill when you kill an Abathur clone. Similar to when you kill Burke. You do get experience, you do get some you do get some experience for it though, so it's not entirely worthless. Right now the enemies have sieges moving in the mid lane. Matt, it was just killed by Janna. That's a huge bummer. So right now there's only two of us up. I am uh, putting myself at risk to get a mana orb because you know Conjurer's Pursuit, the most holy of pursuit. And Tychus and I are running in here. Our only goal is to quickly get to hundred because we want another garden terror. We're just gonna spam this out. Uh, the siege minions, very scary. They're going to burst through that wall. The enemies control the top jungle. And oh god, we have uh, explosive and corrosive locusts out of, out of the enemy Abathur. Uh, we just need a few more. We are both simultaneously growing our terrors. So now we need to head into mid lane. We'll see what's happening. The enemy team is doing their best. They want to have a control. They want to know. They want to have more seeds after this one spawns. So we'll see what happens here. Uh, they seem to be taking this out. They're going to have quite the advantage uh, on the next spawn. Let's see who does it. Uh, Arvala takes that. She's been our Garden Terror each time. I'm a little bummed she took that. She's been a little too... Uh, not aggressive enough, I'm going to say, on the Garden Terror. The Garden Terror's E speed boost is enough to get you out of trouble. Smart Polymorphs are enough to get you out of trouble. Oh, we're going to have a big team fight, man. Lili, Tychus, Garden Terror. Their entire team is basically here. I'm running here. I... I think I'm going to drop down a healing ward and put down my heat and try and blind as best I can. Mac gets caught in the frozen ring. That is not good for him. He's taking a little bit of critical damage. Tyga's putting stuff. I'm also stunned, but I'm running out. Lili's passive is that she can move quick. Popping the 1,000 barrels, trying not to get polymorphed at the same time. Healing up the team as best I can. We want to just disengage while they waste all their ultimates, and I'm healing everyone back up to full. We have some more healing going down. No one getting polymorphed. ETC diving in. The Mosh Pit is real. Fortunately, that is our precision strike landing on top of the ETC. They don't manage to take anyone down. Tossing out more healing, though I am getting polymorphs when I'm be healing for the next couple of seconds. Unfortunately, I am being ignored. Matt is getting singled out right now. He is disengaging. The enemy team has lost two right now. And we're going to take down the Tychus was just taken out by the enemy team. Their Nova is picking away at us. Their Nova goes down. I jump back in, landing a blind. Looks like Matt is dodging and dipping out. Nova manages to take out there. Tiro is going to explode in just a second. He misses everybody. And Abathur was inside of that thing. He's been falling more, which slows him down. He already doesn't have a lot of health. Our Terra bit, bop, boom, and takes him down. And Tychus is praying science for some reason. So much healing, so much disengage. And uh, that was a very successful team fight for us. I am stoked how that went down. So now we're running in. We still have 17 seconds on our Terror. I popped down a healing ward so the team can go in. See, look at this. Our Terror is terrified, so to speak. Pops down the W. Now I should just go in and whop. Tychus says some rather nice but creepy things to me just then. ETC's going in. He just wants to push people away. And uh, our, uh, our Terror has timed out. However, we are sitting on a healing ward. And we don't want to leave without taking out that tower. And uh, for some reason, the team wants to go in. They're getting blood hungry for ETC. Precision Strike misses uh, the Frozen Tomb or uh, Frozen 
coffin or whatever Jaina did right there helped her dodge it. We're all really low. We really should disengage. We'll see what we're doing right now. Landing a little bit. Tychus calls for the B. Hopefully it'll be. I pop in my ultimate to help with the disengage. Sometimes you got to worry with uh, solo cube like environments. Some people might be thinking I'm saying with this heal, hey, we should re-engage. No, I just want us to escape with as much health as possible. ETC going in, bopping people around. Vala dashing away. She is out of my healing range. I'm trying to get in range. Oh, no, not soon enough. But we do get Tychus blood in revenge. Uh, Tyrael bopping around trying to get whatever damage. Lands some onto Tychus, but he's already healing back up. And that was a uh, two or maybe even... No, looking at the death timer, it was a two for one disengage for us. We're deciding what to do. We pinged the top zone. I think I was the one to ping for that because this is an easy building to get. It is already out of ammo, so I'm running up there. Clearing out the minions for some reason, even though we should just probably go for taking out the building as soon as possible. Uh, Tychus taking out the incoming minion wave. So now let's take thing. The enemy team has two forts. We got caddies. Those are catapult minions spawning. They do splash damage, so they will push on their own. Mid, we no longer need to worry about. Unfortunately, bot, they've got a huge minion wave there that's going to be easily able to wipe out that if we do not respect it. Right now, we're trying to take out siege camps. We want more things pushing in top so that we can get away with that. Let's see here. Uh, Matt was ohm, so he's heading out. I get caught by Jaina, but I am not scared at all. I am not afraid. I go in there, landing a couple of auto attacks. Unfortunately, because we ignored bot, we lost our bot fort. So we are still at five forts. 34.25 kills. <laughs> Enemy team has two forts left and 11 kills. I noticed the Tychus was going a little low trying to take this camp. I run in, landing some heals, keeping him alive. Look at that. Look at that Lee Lee heal. Unfortunately, Nova at the same time getting taken low by Tychus. I just couldn't get to her. I picked Tychus in the Bruiser Camp over Nova. I would do it any day of the week. Nova's positioning is a little questioning rule right there. Vala and Matt are in the bot, taking another siege camp. We're doing our best to push wherever we can. We're not particularly interested in Garden Terrors right now. The enemy's going to Garden Terror. We know that we've lost that fight. We really need to get as many of the camps as possible because once the Garden Terror is actually, like, once they're in that that Garden Gundam, so to speak, uh, all of the uh, jungle camps disappear. Uh, I'm doing my best to drop a healing ward and see if we can just kind of tank out damage. Look at that. Nova wasted an entire ult on me. And Tychus is landing tons of damage. I'm healing almost all the way back up. He's critting. And Nova is taken out. She wasted an ult in her life trying to take out Lili the healer. However, they're trying to keep Tychus or Tyrael alive. He escapes with just a fragment of health. Meanwhile, we have Siege minions in the midway. Ooh, taken up by the Garden Terror. Matt is having a hero fight. I guess in mid lane against the Garden Terror. Well, the rest of us have moved top. Abathur has cloned Tyrael. Tyrael, not the best champion of the game. We take out the clone, and we're up to 0.5 kills. We killed two Abathur clones. Look at us in the big times. Tyrael making some poor positioning, leaving his base. Precision Strike would have got him if all the auto attacks happened. We're pulling back. He does ooh, quite a bit of damage. However, we're going to be able to heal that up just fine because there's no one else there. Um, I'm popping the turret on myself to try and do things. Popping the 1,000 jugs because I feel like we can just face tank out these buildings. They only have a Jaina and an Abathur. Abathur isn't going to be able to do anything. The Jaina is in the Garden Terror. So this is basically a 0v5 right now if you're looking at it. The Terror, their Terror is going to do some stuff, but it only managed to take down a gate thanks to the hard work of Matt and our Nova. And we managed to push all the way out. This started with taking down the last bit of their fort. We took out a keep. They are down to just one building left. One keep. We now have catapults going in the top. We got catapults. Ooh, Vala taking a little bit of damage. I was in the middle of basing, but I want to keep her alive. It's also to keep her direction. ETC moving in. He lands. The mosh pit doesn't hit me, so I'm still able to heal. We have... Uh, that Nova trying to do some damage. Matt comes in, landing a stun, critting a couple of times on that Jaina. Tychus goes down, unfortunately, but we managed to take out their Nova. Body blocked by the water. I'm doing a thousand jugs, keeping the team all healed up, and we just beat down that ETC. Vala doing it. Tychus is pleased with that exchange. They just have a Tyrael. They just have an Abathur. We've got things pushing in every single wave. I'm paying for us to take the uh, top siege. Well, Vala and uh, Matt have, for whatever reason, decided to fight against the Abathur empowered uh, Tyrael. So I don't know why they did this. I think they got a little bloodthirsty. Uh, there was nothing to gain in that lane. Um, I see that they are dying, so instead of doing that, I should have just finished the camp because Matt was never going to be saved. 
Uh, I debate finishing it, but I know that people are just probably going to get curious, so I flee. Uh, maybe I even debate taking out that bruiser camp. What we really should have done there was take the siege camp so that the bot lane uh, could have pushed in a little bit harder. Because like I said, right now they don't have four, they don't have keeps in the top or the mid, so we have can catapults. So watch the catapult the splash damage here. Heroes. Boom. That's clearing out an basically an entire wave of clumps. So these catapults are doing big. We just need them everywhere. Unfortunately, the enemy team, now that we are 3v5 three, basically at this point, they're going to be able to capture their sieges in both mid and bot. Abathur with real greedy positioning up top. I respect that. His locusts, which explode, are actually going to be able to push out against our catapults. What we're doing right now is we've taken a siege on our side. We're trying to capture... Uh, the minions that are on our side so we can at least get a push going equal on either side. Such shamblers have popped up, so so much for jungling. Uh, Tychus going back to doing what we do, and that's taking the leftmost jungle creep after keeping that uh, aggressive push top. Enemy Tyrael, enemy Nova going in. Enemy Jaina pokes her face out, regrets it instantly. Uh, enemy ETC taking that. Uh, we're basically setting up a position to take this bot. Uh, Nova's kind of just scoping it. And they've completely abandoned bot at this point. We've scared them. Um, and Abathur has actually recalled out of top. I don't know why he was terrified of that, but he was a scared. He was Moya scared. And our siege, as well as a catapult, have managed to push forward. So uh, top is actually in tons of danger. And we'll see what happens. Oh, that's why. Because uh, mid catapults got to the base, and Abathur's the only one that cares. Nova's kind of spying on the top group. We took out the bottom terror, but they're already growing a terror, and I think we are out of seeds. We missed it by just nine. So the enemy I team, I think, is going to end up having what three terrors, and we only had two. Is there is that listed anywhere in here? Nope, they don't list the terrors. Oh well, Tychus is not very happy about this, but I'm not all that concerned because we have an overwhelming advantage, even though it's only a one level advantage. Our uh, minion lead is really heavy, so we are all heading. Oh, the enemy team's real greedy, trying to clear minions. We see exactly where they are, and Nova and Matt completely bash out the enemy Nova. We've completely blocked off this ETC. He's dashed away. I get caught in the frozen circle. Little bit of a bummer there, but we are all together unified as one. Their garden terror is eating up one of their carries. I think it's their Abathur, so they no longer have the Abathur Locust spawning. And Nova has completely taken out their Jaina, so right now it is a 3v2 with their Abathur inside of a, a guard terror that is ignoring this. We've already taken out, completely bashed out their Tiro, ETC taking tons of damage. It is a 2v5 right now, Precision Strike, convincing him not to go heal. I'm doing a thousand jugs. Right now we've decided to do a base race. The enemy terror is doing its best to push through our keep in the middle. We are as five, pushing against Nova, making what could be only described as the most questionable positioning I've seen in a while. Ooh, Mosh Pit, a fantastic Mosh Pit, slowing us down for the base race. Enemy Terror approaching our base. ETC basically running away. I am mashing Q as hard as I've ever mashed Q in my life. But we have four assassins, three alive right now, and a healer, and we take out the enemy base. The Terror didn't even get to pierce our shields. That was a great game, in my opinion. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Play Lily, win games. Have fun. I'll see you later.